Hey Sagittarius, welcome on my channel. I'm going to do your September bonus reading. Keep an open mind to general reading. This is the next 30 days whenever you're going to watch it. Maybe this is going to resonate with you. What's happening for you Sagittarius? What's coming next? What do you need to know right now about your love life and all that stuff? So keep an open mind. This is general reading. Take what resonates and leave the rest. You can also book a personal reading. Everything is given in the description box. Energy can be changed, swept. Just take what resonates with you. Sun, moon, arising, any planets. If you have Sagittarius, you can watch this reading. Let's see what's happening, Sagittarius. Okay. Let's see what's happening, Sagittarius, for you. Oh, my God. What is this Queen of Pentacles? Anything else? Bottom of the deck is a Seven of Cups. Okay, you could be dealing with um, Taurus, Libra, Scorpio, Pisces. Aquarius, uh, Sagittarius, could be another Sagittarius you're connecting with. I'm strongly feeling Earth sign, to be honest, like Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it could be Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sag. And from Water sign, I'm getting Pisces and Scorpio. And from Air sign, I'm getting Gemini and Aquarius. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, you have a lot of options in front of you with the Seven of Cups here. Okay, um, are you are keeping your options open? Okay, so you have a lot of options in front of you coming in your way. Uh, there is a decision that you're going to make about your love life. Because I'm seeing whatever right now you could be currently dealing with it. You could be studying right now. You could be in a study. Okay, you could be starting something new, learning something about it. Um, you could be starting your own business or you're definitely focused on your work right now or your education, whatever you are doing. Okay, there could be some type of a news coming in your way. Um, some of you, you're going back to school, I'm getting. This is a very specific message. Maybe you're going to get back to your school or your town. You're going to teach them whatever you learn. Okay. I'm also seeing um, now with this Knight of Wands energy here, there is someone here who is in and out in your life. You're definitely having a, some complex or situationship with someone um, or complex and complicated relationship with someone with this Ten of Wands and the judgment because it's really heavy for you. It's a burden for you. Like whenever this person come to you or whenever this person leave, this is someone who is, who is um, unstable. You can say this is, this is someone who is very unstable or this is someone who makes you unstable. You know, they make you feel uncomfortable and unstable. Like you're not sure what this person wants from you. So this is someone from the past maybe with the Six of Cups. This could be your father of your children or mother of your child. There's a definitely uh, a manipulation going on or someone this person definitely know your emotional uh, switch. You can say that. They know your weakness because you maybe share the baby with this person or you share the friendship with this person, love and romance with this person. This, this could be your first love or first crush or I don't know. This is something with the first here or first love. This is your first time I'm hearing for some of you. This could be someone that who's your first time. So with the Six of Cups, it's like definitely someone from the past here. It's a nostalgic memory with this person. Or this person could be from your hometown or wherever you live. So there's definitely nostalgia memories here with this person. So very complicated, sentimental type of complicated relationship that you're having with someone. Um, this is someone who definitely with this five of cups, um, who left you out in the cold. Or maybe they, they choose someone else over you. With this, the full card, this is someone who's definitely always in and out in your life. Like they never stay. Or this is also someone who is not looking for commitment or marriage. Maybe that's why you are, it's a burden for you because this person is a runner. It's like a runner and chaser, but it's like in and out. 
situation I'm strongly feeling with this person. This is that person. And with this fool and judgment, this person is coming back around again. Because to be honest, I'm not going to lie, with the Six of Cups is a past. The fool and judgment is like another chance. Starting, someone is entering in your life from the zero. Again, they could be spying on you with a page of swords, checking you on social media, or just checking you wherever you work or study. They may be definitely watching you from afar, or they may be working with you already. So I'm getting with this Queen of Pentacles and Seven of Swords. This is someone who's not stable. This person is always a runner and you, you used to be a chaser or you, you used to be a runner and this person is a chaser. So it's a definitely runner and chaser dynamic here. This is someone from the past. For some of you, you could be interested in someone. Okay, like you could be spying or taking interest in someone. You want to be friend with someone. You want to talk to someone because I'm seeing Seven of Cups. You have a lot of options right now. Are you trying to open yourself from the past? leaving the past behind so you can open yourself for new beginnings maybe but there is still something unstable energy in yourself like you may be looking for distraction to leave this person behind to not think about this person so maybe you're taking interest in someone because of distraction from this person that you're dealing with already or the person that you're connecting with or coming towards you maybe they are using you for distraction they could be dealing with their own issues right now, personal issues. So just take what resonates. I'm strongly feeling someone is definitely distracted here. They're not looking for love. They're not looking for friendship. <clears throat> um, or this could be they're not looking for something serious. But it's a distraction. Like they're using you or you're using this person. Okay, with the Seven of Cups, it's a confusing connection. It's like... You don't know where this is going with the Knight of Wands. Some of you, this could be a one-night stand. I don't know. With this Empress energy here, there's definitely a baby mama involved here. You're, are, either you could be a mother or they, the person that connecting with maybe they have a, already uh, issues going on with their ex or someone that they're sharing some um, responsibility and custody of a child with a partner, with the Empress. Or this could be a mother issues here, like their own mother is coming in their way. This person could have a childhood trauma um, or they still need to heal their uh, mother trauma. This person is emotionally unavailable. So whenever you talk about emotions or feelings, they run away because they never used to deal with women's emotions very healthy way, in a healthy way. So with the King of Cups here, this is someone definitely... Could be a friend or colleague or someone that who is always there for you when you need them, like... As a friend, as a colleague, or as a helper, or as your supporter, or whatever. But when you need them as a lover, or someone that you can rely on, you can't trust this person. Because you know that this person is emotionally unavailable. This could be someone who's already in a committed relationship, or they could be already living with their partner. Or someone that they shared the babies with. I don't know. There's a this person has a lot of responsibilities or this could be your energy Sagittarius like you could be living a single mother you have a lot of responsibilities you're doing your own things and here this person is coming and testing and challenging your life for some of you maybe you are escaping from this person you don't want to deal with this person anymore and you may be using someone for distraction yeah there's definitely a reconciliation here this is someone who's coming back from the past I want to reconcile with you. This is someone you, you released. They want to come back. For some of you, um, this person want to reconcile with you, with you, but you are releasing them. Are you already released them, I'm getting? Yeah, this is a very toxic and complicated situation. Like, you want to leave them, but at the same time, you can't leave them. So very, um, could be a friends or benefits type of a connection here or someone that it's a very codependent connection or maybe they are in this relationship um, already with someone like they want to leave but they can't because they share the responsibility of children and custody and maybe living together, they need to pay the bills and all that stuff. We have engagement and true love, romance of a lifetime. So some of you I'm getting like, this person could be romance of your lifetime. It's a true love between you and this person. So maybe they will come back at some point. Or they may be coming back to leaving someone behind. Yeah, this is your soulmate. 
So some of you, you okay, I'm, I'm also getting for some of you, there is a new love here. If you're going to release someone that who's toxic and unhealthy, you need to retreat yourself from, take a break from this connection. So then you're going to maybe manifest your true soulmate or true partner, someone that you're going to marry, someone who's going to be your true love. And for others of you, this is someone that who's coming back to you. Like this is your true love. Like no matter what, you're always, it's like your soulmate. You can't let them go. You can't shake up this connection. Or they can't shake up, um, like you're irre irreplaceable in this person's life, Sagittarius. Okay? Or vice versa. Maybe you, as a viewer watching this for Sagittarius, is, is irreplaceable for you. We have a blowing bubbles. Yeah. Fun, loving, bubbly, manifesting, embracing the movement. So a lot of you, you're, you're manifesting your soulmate. This person is coming. We have a dating. Yeah. Oh my God. You're not going to be single anymore, Sagittarius. I'm strongly feeling you're going to be in a relationship. This is going to be romance of a lifetime if this person is coming. And for others of you, this is someone that coming back. Seeing each other. You're going to get to know each other. It's like... Yeah, I'm seeing a game face. So this person could be serious about you. Or they could have this very serious face. This person is here to win. I'm also getting talking again. Yeah, talking again. Talking again. Someone is reconciling with you. They're coming back because they're serious. They don't want, they're maybe jealous, I'm getting. If you're dating someone else. Or if you're going to choose someone else, this past person is going to get jealous, I'm getting. It's like talking again. They're coming together again. It's like you're starting again some, with someone. Reconciliation here. If this is your soulmate, someone that you felt a soul connection with. And for others of you, this is someone new. You're letting past person go. That is toxic. That is This situation is definitely um, not going anywhere with a past person. So I saw another card here. Yeah, we have a sleep on it. Think before you speak. So some of you, if this past person came up and you're like, I'm done, I'm done. When in the heart, you really want this person. So maybe you need to think about it. What do you want? So maybe that's why talking about retreat energy is very needed here. So you need to make a decision here. Basically, what do you want? You really want this person, the past person, or you really want or looking for a new person? So you need to make a choice here. At least be honest with yourself, Sagittarius, okay? That's what I'm seeing here from universe is saying. Yeah, for some of you saying, this person is saying one date, just one, just meet me one time. Just give me a chance. This could be a new person or the past person is coming. Like they really want to meet you one, just one. They, they want to tell you that just meet me one time so I can going to explain you everything, all that stuff. So just take what resonates. That's what I'm picking up here. See you in the next video. Bye.